Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how to save workbook at a specific folder with the help of VBA. Now, as you can see on my screen, in cell B3, I have mentioned the path of C drive having a temp folder where I want to save this VBA training file and the format I'm going to save it as is Excel SM, right? So I can show you my C drive right now, temp folder. This is empty right now. Let's move to VB editor. So we are going to look at two different macros here. One is using uh, the file path from cell and second one is in the macro itself, right? So <clears throat> as you can see, I've already written the macro to save the time. Uh, so how it starts basically is you have to write active workbook then dot then save as because we want to save a copy you can you also use save if you want to save the existing workbook but since i want to save a copy i'm writing save as then space file name colon is equal to and then i have written the path where i want to save it right so it's the same path which i've written here so i have same written here also and after that uh, comma and I have mentioned the file format so the file format for macro enabled files will be this excel open xlm mac workbook macro enabled right so this is going to be the format for these files and if you see the next line I have written create backup as false because I don't want to create any backup of this file Right now, I'll run this by pressing F8 and show you my C drive. Right, so the line, uh, the code line worked, and I'll show you the temp folder. Right, so as you can see, the VBA training file is now saved here. The name is what I have given in the macro, the extension is XLSM. Now, we will see the next code where it is taking value from cell B3. Right. Obviously, this is the same, but I have kept it deliberately. I'm pressing F8. As you can see, I got the message saying that file named this is already available in this location. Do you want to replace it? So I'll press yes. I replaced the file. Right. And as you can see, the file name is same. The path is same. Uh, but it just got replaced. So these are the two ways you can save workbooks uh, by you know mentioning the path in macro itself like the first case we saw or you know you can also keep it dynamic in uh, uh, your excel worksheet and assign the cell numbers here right. So that's it for today's video uh, I hope you liked it uh, please share how you felt about this video in the comments also let me know if uh, there are any topics you want me to cover in upcoming videos so I can you know work on them share it with your friends and family members uh, subscribe to this channel to learn more you know interesting things thank you very much